Well, Tamika, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. And given the fact that it's International Women's Day and it's our responsibility to celebrate women who have done exceptionally well in their fields of specialization. And um, we just want to find out a little bit more about your story and how did you get started in the profession? It has started when I got blind, 11 years ago. I got blind from a wrong medication mm -hmm. while I was studying nursing. Did you feel angry at any point when you discovered that you would not have been able to see again? Angry? Yes. <laughs> when I was just getting blind, because I went blind within 19 days. And I remember they had to strap me to a bed because I was trying to run out of the hospital saying, I don't want to be blind, I don't want to be blind again. At the time, persons thought that blindness is the end of the world. But I was already a mother. And for me to just take this like this and take it lightly, it wasn't my thing because I'm a fighter. I got myself rehabilitated, mm -hmm. learning how to use a computer again without sight. Right. Within three months, I learned that at Society for the Blind. I learned how to use my cane. I was already a student at heart before mm -hmm. as a chef. Yes. So there was my next resort to call them up and say that I'm blind. And I need them now to tell me of a profession that suits me and they told me about massage. So when I heard that I can now be a massage therapist, I was elated. So the transition between nursing and becoming a massage therapist, how did you make that kind of transition and how did you feel about making the transition? Well, it was great expectations because then I'd have to have subjects. Mm -hmm. First, I have to have three CXEs. That's what they require. So I went ahead and I did CXEs, seven of them, Absolutely. in which I got ones and two. Yes. And then I started the massage course. It was two years. Mm -hmm. It was very challenging um, because we have to get reader writers because now I cannot read for myself. But from the day I started practical, <laughs> wow. That was a life-changing moment for you. Yes. I know now that I can now use my hands yes. and that my sight. Everything just came to me natural. Yes. It's like this was my destiny. Yes, I was sad about the blindness, but tell you, sometimes I forgot. <laughs> because the way I move, <laughs> you know, I forget that I'm blind sometimes. Yes. Looking back in your mind's eye, do you believe that this is where you should have been, um, given the situation of the wrong medication and that? Um, what else, whatever else that you've chosen, the other path in terms of the culinary arts, um, it would not have been as successful as um, being a massage therapist? I don't want to question nature yeah. and say, why me? Mm -hmm. Why not me? Because when I look back on my life being a chef mm -hmm. and also was attending training, um, training to be a nurse, I don't know what type of nurse I would be, but I can say I'm an extraordinary massage therapist. There are many young women, young girls in particular, who have dreams, great dreams, to become successful, but at some point have uh, the, the doubt and does, they don't feel as if they can be as triumphant as they possibly can. What kind of advice would you give to those people to live their dream and get them to where they ought to be? Sky's the limit. Use your challenges as a stepping stone.